July 1996 and a communal allotment is the site of our next encounter. A local resident who we'll call Joe was busy packing up his tools for the night when he had his very own close encounter. Well, I was packing away my old uh, trowel and fork, now I there's like a min noise coming from the trees across the way. I'd been filming me award winning veg earlier so I had my camera to hand. It being so dark and all, the camera's night mode was really struggling and the picture was all jumpy. Anyway, there was like a sudden whoosh and this bright light swooped down across the playground on the other side of the allotment. The light was spinning round and around like a mad thing, round and round and round, and then was probably as big as a Ford Escort. I grabbed my camera but only managed to catch a couple of flashes. The UFO only looked about this big from where I was standing, but then I realised it was quite far off. I remember the first thing that went through my head when I saw it though. I thought to myself, I don't want to be abducted. Because these alien types, they do a lot of that abducting lark. I read plenty about that. I also read that the aliens also like investigating their, your, uh, your trouser regions. Now I don't know what they're trying to find up there, but they're barking up the wrong tree if you ask me. After I caught the brief flash of the UFO on my camera, I tried to see it again, but I didn't have any luck. I was just filming like trees. It was a strange experience, to be honest with you, but it's not one I want to experience again anytime soon. I'd rather stick to a quiet life on my vegetable patch, you know, without the fear of abduction or uh, intimate interference. <laughs>